everybody, Erin here again today. Um, I'm gonna play with something different that I just got in. This is the Chibitronics, or Chibitronics, um, or Chibi Lights. This is the LED circuit stickers. Uh, in this kit, you get a toolkit and you get a little book. That's what I'm gonna be playing with today. I got some extra pieces and I am gonna make another project. So in here it talks about how to do the different circles, circuits. Right now I'm just gonna do the simple circuit. All right, so we're gonna do the simple circuit. And in here, it's very easy. You have a battery, you have, it goes to your light and it goes back. So positive to positive, negative around. So what are we gonna use? Out of here, turn the template on the next page and stick the full tape over the gray lines. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So in my little kit, Got my gray tape. I said the step is super simple to tear. Let's take the plastic ring off. It's now so don't cut the tape. you're doing this you need to be very careful and that's okay if it's not perfect chances are when you're gonna do this in a project anyway it's gonna get oops be careful with your foil tape because it does I can untwist it it seems like it untwists okay place your tape going all the way around and here's the key thing ready this is what I screwed up on the first time you get and this is what it says leave a gap Electricity, this is the key thing about electricity. Current electricity will take the path of least resistance. So if it does not have to go through a light bulb, meaning it has to work harder to go through the light bulb, it's not going to. It's gonna run through your tape. You have to leave a gap. Otherwise, the electricity is gonna go straight through the tape and not through the light bulb. So you wanna make sure you get a nice, good connection. Really make sure that your light is pushed down. And that's the other key thing, because you wanna make sure that, that connection is full and there's not a break in it, otherwise the electricity will not flow all the way through. Place this down, and boom. Okay, that's the key thing here. If you do not have a nice flow of electricity and a gap where this is gonna go through, then you're gonna have a problem. And make sure that your light bulb is securely on there. Oops. See, it's not. There we go. So this has to make sure, see the copper wire that's right here? If this copper wire is not touching the battery, this connection will not be made. It needs to make a continuous circuit going through here. Now, one little battery and one bulb, maybe two batteries and two bulbs, so let's play with that. Let's disconnect this. Let's see what happens if we make another break. Okay, so if we make another break, we're gonna have to add in, we're gonna tear apart another little section. We're just kind of playing now. Okay, now we're gonna add another little battery. Now, or another light bulb. Make sure this is one I've been playing with a little bit, so it may have lots of sticky. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do a new one. Create that one I've messed with too much. And it's lost its oomph. Down. Good connection. Now here's the deal. The more times you add stuff to a circuit, the more chance there's gonna have something go wrong. Now this may not be enough oomph, so some of you are saying to add two. Oh, see. Oh, there we go. See it flickered for a second. There it is. So it's kind of like a one battery per light bulb kind of scenario. Let's see if we take one off. See, it's just not quite enough. Make sure I have my connection good. See, it's just not quite enough to get both light bulbs. When I put two batteries in there. You have to make sure the connection is good. There it is. There it is. And that's why they give you the binder clip to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm just holding it. I don't hold it, see so it doesn't stay, it comes off. And there it is. So it's kind of like a one battery per light bulb scenario. Um, the little batteries that they give you are the CR2032. And you can buy these pretty much anywhere. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we're gonna keep this doubled up, just for now. Make sure the connection is held silent. So I'm pushing it down here because this is where the foil is. And notice every time I kind of move around, it flickers. So you do want to have it. Now, 
On the cool other side, it says, now flip this over and look, we have light. So picture you add something. Now again, because I keep messing with this, it's gonna flicker because I keep messing with the circuit. So it's gonna kind of go, which is the way it goes. It's just kind of how the nature of the beast. And so now you have this really kind of cool effect behind paper. So if you did pop dot or something, there's all kinds of ways that you can do that. All right, so that's kind of fun. I'm gonna leave those there because I think once they've been stuck down, that's why like in the kit, I started opening this and I realized I had a ton more. They give you uh, 30 lights because once you've used one, you really don't want to unstick it and restick it because you're gonna make the battery, the connection bad, which is what happened with this guy here. This guy, I think because I kept sticking, probably got some stuff stuck to the back. It's toast. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Um, so now you're gonna make up your own circuit, which is what I kind of did here. So you can make up patterns. Um, now here it says, make sure not to make sure that two pieces of copper do not cross, because if they cross, you create a short circuit. Now it says if you want to put a connection, just place a piece of paper tape or a piece of paper in between the two. And here, okay, now we get a parallel circuit. Let's have some fun. Now we don't want to break the tape. So this time I don't think we need to break the connection because we're going to go between two different light sources. Oops. I just broke my tape. Okay. We'll survive. I'm doing my best to make sure I don't mess up my tape here. I'm going to keep turning the book. What's the difference between parallel and series? So parallel is where you have two, obviously, parallel circuits going on at the same time. So if for any reason one fails, you are good. Think Christmas lights. If you have one light that does not work in your Christmas lights, everything is cool because you have two parallel running circuits going on at the same time. Um, Christmas lights are not completely parallel because if you ever notice that you have one strand that works, a uh, section that works, and then you have a section that doesn't. So then you have to find if there's too many lights that are off, the whole thing fails. So you can't have 100% um, parallel. So you can do a combination of parallel and series. Okay, so now we're going to place our little stickers down. They want us to put one. They're going to do three of them. So I'm trying to get the sticky off the foil. Because if you've got an adhesive or something in the way, of the metal on the back of this, you're not going to make a connection. So you see on the back of these little stickers, with lights, there's little metal pieces. That's what you want. I don't know if you can see that very well. See how it shines? That's your metal on there. All right, so we're going to put one here. Now, this picture doesn't say anything about you need a gap. You know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit more tape right there, just in case that connection is funky. Hopefully, be okay. Tear is really easy. Nice. Okay. Yep. And really make sure that connection is made. You don't have little bubbles. saying you can do it with one battery. Well, look, I got one working. So see how that works? Even though you have batteries that don't function, you still get one. So maybe it's only enough to power that. So let's add a second battery. Well, I just made it brighter. <laughs> so more juice, brighter light. Still functions. But look at that. So something's wrong and I can see these guys are kind of lifting up right here. the difference. Obviously the connection is good enough to get all the way to this guy. 
So either my lights are bad or something's wrong with my connection here. Oh, so that one's just not down enough. Okay, so oh, it was at the bottom. Just kind of keep pushing them around. Okay, this is the one that I was scraping and I bet it's just, it's, it's bad now. So you gotta be careful with your little lights. I think these two are toast. I'm gonna put the dead ones up there. I'm gonna go to another sheet. So I give you a lot of little lights. Really make sure it's stuck down. Oh, it's a red one. Oh, look at that. So here it says W, W, and it says R. Now, this is a whole sheet of white lights, but in my kit here, oh yeah. So I've got yellow, blue, and then red. And then I have another one where it's yellow, blue, and red. Those are the only colored lights I have. Too bad. I'm gonna work with the, well, I don't know. In my final project, I think I'm just gonna go with white. Um, it's a graduation project, so that's pretty cool. So take a look. If you have a parallel situation, I can get three lights lit up with one battery. But going back to this one, I've got two lights. And they won't light up unless I have two batteries. So to get more life out of your batteries, this is a one for one if you're gonna do a simple circuit. But if you do a parallel circuit and they're connected, it means there's more juice coming through than just one wire. And you don't have to worry about making a break. You just connect it between the two. You only need one battery. Now, if I add a second battery, look how much brighter that is. It's pretty amazing, right? So it, it's, it's pretty simple. You just have to be careful that you connect the tape correctly. You collect the, right, the lights correctly. Um, this way you can get more oomph out of each battery that you have. And this is what's pretty cool. It's like, okay, now take it over. Now look, you can see how you can create fun designs on the paper in front of it and it glows through. So this is a really kind of fun project and product that you can play with. And oh, it's just pretty cool. I might use end up using some of those fun colored ones in my next project. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy me playing. I just did the first couple of sections with you, but there are other sections. You can add a switch. That way it's not completely on or off. Um, for the switch, they're having you... So it's having you use a piece of paper. And so leave the gap. And then all you're gonna do is contact patch closes your switch. So you put a piece of foil. So cover the long gray patch with the conductive foil. So you're gonna put a piece of foil here so when you fold it over, the foil touches and it makes your, your connection. So that's what a paper switch is. So if you wanted to have a card that turned on and off, that's how you would go for that. Um, so it would be the same thing as we did here. Okay, same idea but you'd have another gap and then you'd fold a piece of paper over to finish the, the line. So that's what the switch is all about. Same process. And then it says to play with it on your own. And then it tries to, okay, put multiple switches in, see what happens. Um, you can do a blinking slide switch. What's that all about? Sorry, the pages are not wanting to turn in my little book very well. Now, if you've got some kids, this is kind of fun for you to play with. So again, same stuff, um, press and slide here. Oh, so you're making a gap and as you slide it, it can do a blinking. I don't think I would ever use that. Doesn't mean you can't. It's not where I'm gonna go with this. I'm pretty much just gonna have the light turn on 100%. And so if you slid it, it would make each light in, in succession because you're going from one gap to another. Um, and then there's a pressure sensor. So you just, I mean, there's lots of other things that you can do. And then there's a whole section back here where it talks about debugging. And which is kind of what, when you get in there and play with it, so does your light turn on? Don't worry, carefully review the circuit. Make sure there's no gaps in the circuit. Did you put your light on backwards? Is it connected? Did you really make sure the sticker is, is there any wrinkled pieces? Make sure they're all flattened down. I mean, use, you can use the edge of the binder clip and really make sure. Um, did your battery connect between your metal foils? That's kind of what you're working for. Um, did you flip the battery upside down? That could be a problem. Do you have a dead battery? Try a different battery first before you try and reconnect and dis 
you know, um, pull it all apart. And you have a gap in your tape because it won't work if there's a gap. Electricity can't flow through dead space. Um, it does flow through air, but not in this situation. So you need to have the foil or a light or the battery for it to connect. Um, is all the tape secure? That was one of the problems I had with this light here, um, is that they did this one. It, this little piece right here was not fully connected down, therefore it didn't turn on. Simple as that. And then if it's not, then you can go there, which is what I kind of did for here. There's other different effects. Apparently they have some that blink or fade in and out or do like a heartbeat. So there's other things that they have. Um, I just have the basics, some colors, batteries and so forth. So thanks for stopping by. Please come back soon. Come see what I create with these fun little electronic doodads here. And I will see you again. Bye-bye.